Stay one more night. Don't you know that my love is true? Good morning, Good morning. everybody. So extra. He's always so extra. <laughs> so right now we're in Arecibo. We drove about an hour and 20 minutes to get to get here from where we're staying. So we bought a tri seti, which is a fish that only grows here in Arecibo. And you can only find it in Puerto Rico. It's like a tiny, tiny fish, like really, really small, maybe like an inch small. And I guess they do it like in a pastele type of way. So it's like a dough and then they put it inside. So he's really excited to try it because that's all he's been talking about since he's gotten here. Yeah, and you see I'm making a face. I'm scratching my legs because ah, this mosquito bites are fucking nice. I've been wearing jeans. It's 74 degrees out here, so it's that's raining. not bad. It's raining. And it's raining, so it's not but yeah, so we're gonna uh, like show you the place real quick. This is the place, it's called Rest in Nuevo Guayabo. So this is Seti. This is Seti. We got an empanadilla of, uh, what is it, crab? Then we got this, uh, what is this? This is like a, a fish, like a, a fish salad. Like a fish salad. We got an empanadilla of uh, langosta. We got empanadilla of what? Oh, uh, I think a fish too. A fish too, and we got and al capo. And we're about to get our drinks right These now. are the first arcapurias I see that look like my mother's. Yeah, they're brown. So, we, dude, I'm so excited. Order this. Yeah, so a lot of people order this because it's also gross here in Arecibo. That's why everybody's here is chilling this early. As for gasolina, which is like a, a Puerto Rican drink, uh, it's an alcoholic drink. Um, I'll show you the label after, but um, they're gonna pour for me. Very often used. I, I never trying a uh, lobster empanadilla. And I'm trying one of shrimp. The shrimp is in here. Shrimp is in here. Uh, we already ate this dasuki. It's so good. I'm having some gasolina, which is like a sangria. My um, girl's having cola champagne. Is Nick uh, on flow on here? Nope, no, he's not on here. It's like a, a soda, sweet soda. So, yeah. Yeah, I tried the lobster right now. Let me know if you like it. It actually tastes good, it's salty, like seafood salty and stuff. So. Like a bacalao taste. Like, I like it. I'm like in heaven right now, just eating a bunch of drunk food with two food. Yeah, over there, like, like where we live, you don't really see like shrimp, uh, empanadillas, uh, lobster empanadillas, like any of this weird stuff. So we basically came out here to try exotic foods, fried exotic foods, because that's not what we normally have. And even if they have it, it's so cheap. They'll put like really small trims and barely anything. And not pricey. I mean like $10 for something that we just had. Like one of these things will cost like 10 bucks out there. He likes this. Too good. You know, when they have some right now, Early in the morning, alco alcoholic life. You're gonna try the shrimp top uh, in front of you? Yeah. No alcoholic life. Take your bite. How was it? It's good. It's good, right? We're always ordering mad crap. Like, instead of one thing, we order like seven of each. <laughs> But it was really good. We just got out of the city place where we ate uh, the pastel and all that stuff. With you the guys tiny seen. little fishes that you guys saw. <clears throat> you could see the little black eyes on the fish. They're, they're like so two little tiny dots. But they taste crunchy. They have like, I don't know, to me I feel like they have a cabbage taste. Because they're like, you know, cabbage is hard so it has like that crunch. That's kind of how it tastes. It was really good. It doesn't have that fishy, fishy odor. It doesn't have that. So, it's good. I like it. So, when we got out, we saw a little house that they sell sancocho, which, which is like a soup for $5. So I decided to stop and get some. This is the rice that they give you. Barely rice. Can you, can, you grab, can you grab the bag? And this is the soup that they give you. So we bought this to go, you know. I gotta show you guys a little, my little spot how it looks because we gotta drive by it right now. I gotta turn it around. So this is a little spot that they sell the sancocho with rice for five dollars. It's a little um a little cart place. I don't really know how to say it. And then um the seti is a little bit up. We kinda like pass it. Oh no, we couldn't pass it yet, we're about to pass it. and they want to get the fish from 
Puerto Rico, that's Sepi, because you can only find it in this one area. You guys gotta come check it out. Guys. So guess what, guys? We're going inside a cave right now, and we got a bargain, because it was $19 per person, and we only paid 10 And that's because I was telling them, like, hey, can you guys, like, work out a deal or something, you know? No, we gotta go all the way up there, so. Jamie's here, so this is a cave, as you guys can see. Aventura Cueva. Cueva Ventana. We got our good shoes on. And this is the tickets. If you guys want to see where it is and stuff. The information. Oh, so, we have tickets. I didn't even notice that we have tickets. So right now, as you guys can see over there in the back, we have a tour guide that's going to tell us everything and stuff. So We have our good sneakers on. We're, we're ready. We brought our water. Brought water. Got my backpack on. So we're gonna see how this is. Seems so cool though. Sucks. We're like in the woods and stuff. I'm so happy yo. your boy got a bargain. The dude was like, you guys are not from here, so you guys gotta pay $19. That's $20 each, that's 40 bucks. <laughs> so they're 40 I was like, hey, can you deal? Can you try to can you try to make us a deal? He was like, oh no, I can't. Um he said he was gonna test text his boss or some shit. Bye, that's all about BS. It was just I was stalling. So I'll tell him, hey, do 15 years. Oh, I can't do that, but I'll just give you the, the price so people pay here, or like the people that live here, which is 10. So we only pay 20 bucks for both of us. So we save 20 bucks. I'm not trying to be cheap, but I'm trying to do a lot of shit. So we try to save Our money. Our money needs to go a long way. Yeah, and we've been eating a lot of junk outside, so we've been wasting a lot of money. Like where so. we stay at? Where we stay at, they cook and stuff. But we want to eat out. But we want to eat out because we normally don't eat like food outside. Like where we live, it's just McDonald's, oh, I'm out of breath, Burger King and stuff like that. So we're trying to get all that good shit. But yeah, right now we're just walking and we're gonna meet our tour guy, which I think I see him. But yeah, we'll show you guys in a few how this looks. I don't know how dangerous this is gonna get. <laughs> this guy's probably staring like always. Look at him. P U S S Y. Crying like a little bit. We're crying and complaining. We're wearing helmets, yo. We're about to go to war. Right here, we got different type of juices. This is like a indigenous beer. Uh, it's made out of a uh, type of tree. It's a whole Acerola. And this is like a juice, uh, acerola. I guess it's a type of fruit too. So we gotta try this stuff. This juice is really good. It's like a type of beer. And then that one too was good. I'm not trying to talk too loud because there's the tour guy trying to like say goodbye to the people that you're showing the cake to. So, but this is good. They say if I drink a lot of this, I'll get drunk. That's why if you visit some of the other caves around the island, 
you're gonna find a lot of pencil slip and a lot of pictography around it, all right? So we're inside this cave and we're really high up, if you guys can see in the background. It looks super cool. Yeah, this is crazy. Are you scared? No, I'm not scared. I'm actually having a lot of fun. There's a lot of people too with us. It's like a beer, uh, like a big tour guy uh, group. But it's hot. I'm tired. And yeah, we've only been here for like. I'm gonna 10 insert minutes. some clips, and you guys are gonna see some clips of like everybody walking. But yeah, we're pretty high up. But that cave behind me over here it looks cool. All right, so we gotta go inside the cave. Um, we probably not gonna be able to see anything so, because we can't go flash. Because like, if we scare the bats, they're gonna stomach ache and they're gonna shine because we're below them. So I'm not trying to. I got a flash on, but I'm gonna try to go up. Yeah. <laughs> May I, I just I just want to remind you that this is a uh, 30 million year old rock. Okay? And someone took the uh, crazy idea of carbonating it. This is a federal crime punishable by 10 years or ten thousand dollars. Yes it is. Yes, we need to find Joe as quickly as possible. Uh, no, hey, yeah, and Amy. If we find Joe, we'll find Amy. Yeah, it could be dirty. Yes. Oh, here you go. We got another guy over here. Mm. This is a scary one. Yeah. Otro chico aquí, verdad, medio, medio tenebroso. Pero este es mi favorito. This guy looks like you. you. Estas son raíces bien gigantescas. Esta raíz le pertenece al mismo árbol allá. Ahora, chicos. Vamos a comenzar a hacer salida de la cueva. Por favor, mucho cuidado al subir. Si se fijan, está resbaloso. Así que, por favor, mucho cuidado. We're going to make our way out, guys. Please watch your step. Yeah, so we still have the cake, guys, as you see. We record as much as we can. It's really nice in there. Well, this is the hardest part down here, okay? Everything else is uh, barely flat, okay? Uh, okay, if she needs help, I'll be glad to help. The flashing? Okay. Alright. Alright, so we're going down the cave. This is quite very dangerous. Okay, they we want to go first. We're supposed to stay. Go first. Yeah. Yeah. So, we gotta stay near the window because if we go past the window, we can fall. This is 700 feet. Um, clift. So yeah, this is very dangerous. This looks crazy and dangerous. There's a flashlight for two people. Oh, he's on the phone. So you guys can see that it's so slippery. There's barely any space to go down the rocks or anything so far. You gotta be careful, everything's slippery. It's pretty good. What do you think, man? That, that first rock was very deep. Yeah. I thought I was gonna fall. Like, you have to really, really hold on to it. Oh. Uh -huh.